hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing one of the small exercise for creating how we can create a this kind of lights family in a rivet so i'll go for the section so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and here is the family section in the rivet so i need to develop like this family so we just need to create new then you need to go for the this is the family section actually okay for you need to create any uh, new type family so you can get it from if you need to create some annotation families you can get it from here so for example i am just uh, go for uh, metric electrical fix electrical lighting fixer family so it's it's ceiling based so i am just uh, taking uh, metric lighting fixer ceiling based so this is you can see here r of t for a rivet family template this is a family template and it it's come to the saving then you can get like rfa for the rivet family you can get it so this is now a basic template for the metric lighting fixer ceiling based so i'm just opening that one once you open that one you will be get a draw panel a draw area like this so this is called a reference planes and these are the lighting source so you can uh, get it from here the lighting sources and everything so i'm just leaving that one if you go to the 3d view then you can see the lighting sources you can clearly see over here so if you go to find and just shade it so you can clearly see the lighting sources it's available over here so how we can create the one of the kind uh, like this family so I'll, I'll go for that then go to create then you can see the reference planes are here just select the reference uh, plane and here is you can draw the lines also and even you can pick the line also so i'm choosing the pick line and just i'm giving offset around uh, um, 75 from this line or i can say like 100 okay so 100 on this side so you can see it was uh, giving the offsets over here and this side also i'm giving offset and i i need to create another one also uh, i need to pick a line and i'm just giving a uh, around the 525 from here i'm just giving out it's, it's called outer radius we can say like that okay so I'll, I'll create like this and then you can give some dimensions for this one so i'm just giving a dimensions for this and i'm just giving like this and, the, and giving equal and you can change the scale from here so you can clearly visible that one so i'm just going to the fine then uh, then again you, you can give the if, if you need you can give here also uh, some other dimensions okay so for example if you need to create this one so your reference planes and pick a line so i am just giving 100 for both side and here also i am giving 100 and then i just need to take a uh, same distance 25 then i can just uh, create like this Okay, so it means uh, inner and outer diameter we are created okay so then we just need to give another dimensions for this one like this you can give the dim dimensions and even even in inside also you can give these some dimensions okay so i'm just giving like this and give equal and here also i'm giving sorry i'm giving from here one dimensions so this one i can say like i can give some parameter so lighting lighting inner diameter so uh, inner diameter dia so i'm just giving a dia so it's in instant parameter i'm just giving a group under dimensions type parameter so i'm just clicking ok and here i can give uh, outer uh, lighting outer dia lighting outer dia okay just give like that and click ok and then what do you need to do we just need to create a um, come some elements over here for that you just need to uh, what you can do we can we can give here also some dimensions so this is a symbol family so that no worry then you just need to go to create take an extrusion take a circle from here first you need to give a circle up to here this line this is inner inner in inner circle inner circle and uh, this one is the outer one so just i given like uh, two uh, circles and i'm just giving um, click ok I've finish that one and then you can go to the 3d view you can see the all the part is created over here right one part is created 
So, like this one, one simple f f part is created. If you can go to the front view, so you can see it was created over here. Then we need uh, some base plate over the for the light. Uh, like uh, you can see here this one. So this one we need to create it. So that is what I am trying to create. And uh, from here, this is our base base of this light. So I just need to create similar for the um, reference plane and pick a plane. And I'm just giving 25 uh, above. So I'm just picking this one and below also 25. So what I need to do, I just need to uh, stretch up to here one and then lock it that one. Uh, you can align also just uh, type AL and align also you can align it and lock it so that will lock it over here or otherwise you can lock uh, you can uh, leave this one and you can lock it over here also okay, just uh, uh, align with this one maybe it's it's was not selected align with the, the central line and we just need to um, uh, we just need to uh, unlock this one okay for example I'm just undoing that one because I don't want to align with that that line so I just need to align with this line. So just select this one and then you can lock it. So one part is created. If you go to the 3D view, you can see one, one part is created like this. Okay, then, then what we need to do, we just need to uh, make a, uh, the, 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 this, this cover of the light. Okay, so then what we can do, we just need to go to create and go to the sweep command. Then uh, we just need to create a, a line for that then go here and just uh, make a line and then you can go to the arc and from here we just need to give some dimension uh, with with arc line so we uh, we can create like this some arc you can create it for example like this you can create some arc okay sorry i'm just uh, undoing that one and we can create this one and go to revolve then you can go here and give some arc okay so for example sorry for that i just need to pick two point and i just need to make like this sorry i'm just uh, take it from here okay so just i'm taking uh, taking from here to here i just want to make it like this okay then you can see uh, 85 you can see, give the uh, radius for this one and just to uh, give an offset Offset, you can get it from here and I'm just giving 15 then I just need to give like this and then make a line and just connect like this and just trim it this one trim like that and uh, then here also you can make it a line sorry I'm taking from here then trim this one and trim this one okay then what do we need to do we need to give some access okay exactly the whatever i created over here exactly come up over here okay so what do you need to you need to give just give an access line so pick a line so just pick it that one and then finish the edit mode so what will happen automatically it will create like the, like one circle portions you can see it was clear, created like this so that is the one method like if you want to of the light source so okay, you can see clearly see the uh, lighting fixes created over here like almost that one so then you can give some materials also for this one so if you want uh, uh, some some kind of materials you can create from here okay new material so i'm just uh, giving rename that one and i'm giving a lighting uh, lighting cover then uh, then you can just uh, use that one and you can give some um, graphics for that one and i am choosing white for that one and even here also you can give some white color and uh, go to the appearances and uh, here also you can give a white color and uh, just apply ok then what will happen you can see clearly it will be uh, like this it is showing and then you need to select and you can give the another another color for this one if, if you need to give a white color that is also will be good then you can see the light fixer was created then again what you need to do you need to connect some electrical connectors and everything right so for that you need to go to here create go to electrical connector and just uh, this is the face okay so then you can select here so that the connector will be come up over here okay so if you are if you selected the connector so you can see uh, the connector is created right then you can um, <laughs> If you select a connector element for electrical system type communication, you need to change that one to power unbalanced. 
and then here you can give a voltage around 230 i'm just giving so you can fix it that uh, things okay so if you go to the family type so you can see here all the um, another uh, whatever diameter we given so you can see it from here and um, identity data so you can add some other comments manufacturing de details and everything over here so default elevation we can set it something like uh, 1200 so no worry so that will be work also so this is the method we are creating a lighting um, um, lighting this one and you can load this fam and you uh, once you done that one you can just save us the family uh, family i can save it in my desktop somewhere in the practice okay then i can say like a lighting fixer you can give whatever name you need so just giving like a um, lighting fixer d1 i am just giving and saving that one so that was saved and then you just need to make a one projects okay for example i am i will have some projects um symbol project i have i don't have symbol one now i'm just creating new one and i'm going to electrical template and i'm clicking okay we set the so, family like this so we need to insert this family to our uh, working draw uh, projects okay so how you can insert you can just load into the project so our project is one project i opened over here so i'm just overwriting because before it was there so i'll just go to this is a ceiling plan i just made it so if you go to the uh, system tab then go to the lighting so you can see uh, whatever uh, we created you can see it will be come up over here so you can uh, place in the ceiling center and then you can go to the 3d view you can see it will it will you can clearly see it was fixed in the ceiling you can see it was fixed in the ceiling okay so if you change this one um some other fine or medium so you can see clearly see the uh, it was fixed in the uh, ceiling uh, center or wherever you required you can change that one if, if i'm giving fine and i am just giving a hidden um, hidden line or wireframe so you can see it will be fixing in the um, ceilings so if you go to the realistic view so you can see it was fixed there so like that you can create the uh, lighting so if you copy this one and you can place wherever you required so simply you can uh, place the uh, lights like this copy it copy from here and then you can copy wherever you required just paste it like that the same kind of light so then if you go to the 3d view you can clearly see all the lights are fixed in the ceiling the ones we created so this is the simple method we are creating a lighting family in rivet so then if you want to copy this one okay over here copy it and then wherever you required you can place the family like this simply you can place it and go to 3d view you can see all the lighting family uh, I, all the light is placed over there this is just a practice so how you creating a simple lighting families so, so if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel simple lighting family okay so if you want to one of the things if you want to connecting um, uh, give a connector for this um, conduit also you can give over here so you can give the conduit connector and select the face like this and then select it that one and just change to 25 i so forgot to tell you that one so if you load into the project so override the version so if you can click that one again even the conduits also showing over here right so you can make the conduits also for uh, for making one section go to view then uh, um, just uh, I'm changing this one and if I selected this one you can see conduit is there so draw conduit so easily you can draw the conduits from here wherever you require so for example I need to make one conduit over here so automatically what will happen uh, that will be developed over here so if you go to the 3d view so you can see all the conduits are um, connected like this see this conduit is connected to this light and this light also connected if you tab it that one so you can clearly see the conduits are connected thanks for watching thank you